happy. Indeed. Indeed, indeed you are happy. I'm great, thanks, love. It's nice to be here. Uh, to everyone who's joining us this afternoon. Hi, guys. Hey, everybody. I see everybody's joining us slowly but surely. Uh, great to have you on this platform, guys. Ella. Okay, so let, let, let's, let's for us. Uh, hey, sorry. It's very different for us. It's different for us. Now we, so we're going to try to keep it um, flowing quite nicely, but don't forget that uh, we're not relaxed at home and we're just chilling because we are. We do hang out, right? Let's declare. <laughs> yes, let's put it out there so that everybody knows you and I are friends um, and we do have yes. and you know, but I think that's going to make for a great interview. I think so too. So they mustn't be surprised if I refer to you as love. Yes, exactly. Because that's just who we are. We're trying to keep it as, as real as it possibly can be. Yes, and that's... That's our affectionate term for each other is love. So exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much for accepting our invitation today. We're so excited to have a chat with you. Um, and 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 how's everything coming on? How's level two treating you? Where are we? Three, two, one, two. Two point <laughs> one and a half. <laughs> two point one, right? But we do have an agreement that we're still on level four, right? Or even five. We're still very cautious. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Um, so far, you know, level two has been all right. It hasn't really been very different for me. I think I've been out once um, to a restaurant in the last week or so. Um, but for the most part, I'm still, you know, I'm still home. I'm still working from home like a lot of people because I, I'm lucky enough to be able to do that. Um, yeah. But so far, it's all right. I think, you know, we, we need to, we trade cautiously and, and I think we'll be okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'll have you know that our friend from Italy, Paula, is online. Yes, hey, Paula. Hey, Paula. <laughs> I also saw Mrs. Hey, Mrs. B. Hey, great stuff. It's great to see our friends join us. So, you know, you've never been, you've been, you, you in the past or even recent, recent months or so, you're very vocal uh, at any opportunity that you get about supporting local i mean we've saw you we've seen you post every now and then rocking something local making reference to the fact that you know it's cool to support local what is your understanding of and why gosh um where do we start i mean i think you know this it's you you guys know it's a it's such a i won't say common complicated thing but there's so many different levels to it right um, and I think one of my departure points is always you know coming from where we come from I think of our history as a country where, where yeah. we didn't have that much we, we weren't allowed to have that much pride in who we were and what we were about okay um, and that really came into being, I think, post-94, where there was the surgence of uh, our languages and our culture and our, you know, everything that makes us uniquely who we are. Um, and so I feel like the industry, and when I say the industry, I mean the South African market across all spheres. I think we started off on a back foot. You know, we, a lot of people are trying to compete with, whether it's Italian manufacturers that have been going for 250 years or a, um, you know, Japanese label that's been going for 300 years or whatever it is, we're starting off on a back foot. And so for me personally, um, I think the last, the last couple of years have really been about saying, well, it's great to say I'm South African. Yes, I'm South African, but it's not enough to have it end there you've got to actually you've got to be that you've got to embody it you've got to buy it you've got to spend it you've got to um in everything you do that south africanness needs to come through and for me that i guess is where i come from and that i'm going to try and put my money into the south african market 
so that one day, in the same way that people are flossing about carrying a designer handbag from Italy, you're able to do the same thing here with a locally made label. And because for the very same reasons in that it's beautiful, it's luxurious, it's well made, the quality is amazing, you know, all these things. But we need to then say, why can't we lift our guys up to the level of an Italian designer where our mouths are and actually put money into the South African market? Sure, sure. And, and, and very simply, love, is that, you know, if we don't do it as South Africans, who's supposed to do it for us? Uh, right. You, right who's going to do it for us because and i always make this example that you know uh and like you rightfully say because we've got to say this with the responsibility that it comes with that we're not saying anybody should ignore anything because i mean we we don't as south africa we don't operate in isolation we are uh, you know th th there's real issues uh, economy issues and there's important export issues that we've got to uh, be, 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 be you know be aware of but with that said simply what we're saying is that if you prefer to then not um, do the right thing uh, by playing your part as a South African for the betterment of the economy because you're essentially keeping people in jobs when you do buy local and when you do support local because the reality is each and everybody every one of us rather knows somebody who's looking for a job mm -hmm. um even prior to the pandemic that's just the yes. reality i mean our economy was in trouble long before the pandemic um yes. and it seems to be a government responsibility yes we need to hold them accountable as government you know, uh, to take care of uh, our triple challenges with inequality, unemployment, and poverty. But we can always also play our part as South Africans because if we choose to buy a, a product all the time that comes out of the country from Brazil, I'm, I'm trying not to pick on China. We always do, but <laughs> from Brazil, <laughs> from Brazil. Yeah. But you you're essentially creating a job there, right? And a demand. Absolutely. From from that country yeah um, and i think also you know uh, to, to speak bluntly i think for for many years sort of post 94 there was, was concerns around quality you know people were like yeah, yeah i want to buy local but the quality mm, it's not the same it's not as great and and i think a lot of those things have been addressed you know i think there are so mm. many people doing amazing things across yeah. all sorts of industries that the quality argument doesn't really hold anymore it really doesn't yeah. um you know you're able to find beautiful leather luxurious goods people like inga um you know with his label um mm. Hamitop, which has amazing handbags there's you know there's all these people doing these incredible things so the quality issue for me has fallen aside and now it really becomes about preference like mm -hmm. where do you prefer to put your money? And like you say, very rightfully so, we all know someone um, who is in a creative kind of space. You know, you have a friend who's trying to hustle and sell her tracksuits. You have mm -hmm. your friend who's making evening wear type of thing. So we all know someone who's trying to make it in the space and it's, yeah. on, it's on us to say, I'm going to choose to put my money into something that I know, as you say, is going to provide employment, not only for the person, yeah. but if they're lucky enough to then have a bit of a team, it's that person, it's the two seamstresses and the guy who delivers the stuff to everybody. So it's this whole chain and it's this whole network that you're actually feeding literally and figuratively absolutely so it is the and I, and I like the point you're making there that it's it's this whole network it's the it's the value chain right mm -hmm. and even behind the value chain it's households uh because, because you know my argument has always been yes there's industries and everybody particularly around this time uh has come out to say the pandemic has affected me this way as an industry has affected my industry that way my sector that way mm -hmm. but you know i think it's about the fact that we need to pause a little bit and remember that there's no industry without people it is about the people it's about people who are losing their jobs it's household 
holds that can they can, that can feed themselves. It's people behind the the bi local phenomenon that if we don't do it, we won't even begin to. I mean, yeah. that is our biggest, as you said earlier, that's our biggest, biggest challenge is the economic inequality yeah. and the unemployment rate in South mm -hmm. Africa. Personally, it's, for me, it's a ticking time bomb. It literally, it's for the last 10 years, easily. It's a ticking time bomb that we're not, not doing enough to address. And I mm -hmm. think very often as an individual, you like, you know, you look at greater government policy or direction and you feel like, what can I do? It's just, yeah. you know, how can that make a difference and for me yeah. buying local spending my money locally is a way that i as an individual can try and help that along you know what i mean if, if i take my money and i put it into xy's shoe business or handbag business or whatever it is that's my way of being able to make a difference because you know i can't direct government economic policy at a at a, at a macro level so this yes. is my way of saying I'm putting money back in because I know if I'm able to buy this, this person is able to pay their two employees and so on and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And I think there, therein lies our challenges proudly, South African, that first, first of all, we can never be able to spread the, net, the by local narrative and the economic impact it has on our own. And this is why these kind of chats, uh, you know, are important. Um, it's about how, what am I going to do in my little corner where I'm sitting as a South African to try and make a difference that we all want to see. And I'm glad that you touched on the point that, you know, the, 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 the issue around quality can't hold anymore. And, yeah. and, and we can, you know what I mean? We can't, then what? You know, we, we've been saying this over and over again. It's just that the reality and the, and the sad part about it is that generally as some, as some South Africans, we, it's a mindset thing, the, the, the yeah. quality thing, it, it's not even factual in most cases, because you've heard somebody say South African products are just not good enough, you latch on to that, but, but nobody questions the product that comes in uh, from anywhere else in the world, um, yeah. and which, which is where we, 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 which is the gap that we're trying to fill as proudly South African. Hence, we have member companies who join us. And, and there's one of the four things that we go through to ensure that, that a brand or a product is, is made at home by South Africans for South Africans is quality. Because it's yeah. one thing for us to say people must buy local, local as liquor, what, what, but that's not enough. People need to know that they're not going to wash a pair of jeans today and then it's all over and they've just wanted one one at once you know so that's very important but with that said not so long ago you started a thread on twitter where uh for masks yes. for south african uh, uh designers or, or producers or manufacturers of masks yeah yeah and what informed that decision because i thought of me supporting each other supporting local and putting our money where our mouth is i think that was driven by i mean you know, I think that thread, okay, I probably did, gosh, it feels like 500 years ago now. <laughs> <laughs> so much has happened. <laughs> I, think, I think it was in, in April sometime. Yeah. Um, and, you know, so with the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic in, uh, you know, early in the beginning of the year, and as we saw it spread around the world, and we were, you know, I was kind of obsessive about reading about it what was going on, where it was going on, you know, how it was affecting different countries and things. Um, and by the time, you know, we realized, okay, we had our first couple of cases and the mask wearing thing for me had always stood out from everywhere kind of around the world that I'd, I'd been tracking and following around, we've got to wear masks, you know, and yes. then we went into lockdown and the president said, everybody needs to wear a mask. And I think there was just a general panic because we were all thinking, where where, where do we find masks now? You know, they yeah. went in the shops yeah. yesterday, so where are we yeah. going to start? So what, what masks? Is, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and um, I had one or two designer friends who'd started making, um, and I had one or two people on, on Twitter kind of tweet me and say, Twitter is quite large. Um, 
And then I thought, well, that makes perfect sense because right now we're all scrambling. We don't know where to look. We don't know who's making it. So let me actually just start up the thread and say, if you're making a mask, drop your name, location, the pricing of the mask, um, et cetera, et cetera, so that it becomes an easy to find sort of central resource for people. Um, and I, I think what was great for me about that whole thing was I started it and then over the next sort of couple of days, weeks, you know, I, I, I'll be honest, I muted the thread because then the conversations were happening. Oh, okay. What? Uh, <laughs> you live on Thursday, like, I... <laughs> but I muted the thread, but I did, I did keep going back in to check, um, and that just made me really happy to pe to see people say, "This is what I do," and then directly underneath it, a couple of people saying, "Where are you based?" Oh, Pretoria North. Great, that's where I am. Can I get three? Can I get four? Can I get, you know? And I think for a lot of people whose livelihoods came to a very ab abrupt stop with lockdown yeah. i think it provided a really great source of some immediate money that they could utilize for whatever they needed it for um and, and so I, I just yeah i really i was i was proud of that and i'm glad that i mean it's still up there if people want to go check it out if you still want to yeah. put money into the hands of individuals you know the thread is still there yeah oh great stuff yeah you know, because that's not a thing. I mean, I mean, I mean, they, there's a, there's a, there's a perfect example of, of, of somebody who, you know, you sat there one day and thought, thought aha, there's a need, you know, and, and, and surely there's no reason why we should import masks if there's right. people. Um, you know, our little uh, factories or big factories or whatever stay stay on because, you know, with the the way in which the pandemic was abrupt, there was no uh, manual that said no. say, seven months ago, guys, get ready. This is what's going to happen. So, so you know, so local designers, for example, that make, generally make clothes. Nobody was buying clothes because, no. first of all, we had to go and show off, so yeah. to speak. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so if you like many of them had to repurpose their their focus and and and, and then focused on, on 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 manufacturing masks in fact it was the same uh that informed also our decision as proudly as say uh together with we worked very closely with Saktu, uh where we put up a portal on our yeah. website uh yeah. of all essential ppes and and that and in fact we started off with the mask uh, given what the president had said in fact now it's a criminal offense if you don't wear a mask so we right. all need right. a mask you know what i mean and and, and and we pride ourselves with the fact that we knew for sure that all of those on the on on our portal are locally made and we've made a we've we've tried to uh you know to step in where where, where companies were facing problems to try and keep them going and keep them growing and send corporate south africa and the public to the portal to purchase their masks from there uh so why are you on there because i want to keep this very light-hearted we did declare that we're friends right so you know <laughs> in light of women Month. Happy Women's Month, by the way. It's not over until no, we say. It's not. Same to you, love. <laughs> now that I, you know, I know there's a lot of ladies on the line, and the gents are there as well. It's fine. It's about Women's Month anyway. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. And um, you know, the, just the importance of having your your girls, your people around you as a woman while we while we try to you know navigate this thing i mean at some point many of us including you i know at some point you had to step in with the kids and be the teacher <laughs> did you not do this at school i know you're um. making it you know where you want to take the children and give them to somebody else for a while and then you're working i mean now you're working from home uh, but just yeah. juggling on it and having a good support system in place you know your girls that you can just uh, especially around this time because many people are struggling to cope yeah, yeah. 
know, yeah. So, what is your thought on that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I think, you know, any woman knows you can't make it without your sister. Woman, ah, uh, no. Then, Shem. Shem with the capital S. Shem. Yeah. You know, I think we, we just, you have, a, you have a network, you have a sisterhood of women, and it's usually, you know, it, well, for us, you know, we're so different from each other. We really are. We're so different from each other. Um, and we all work in kind of different fields and different spaces. Um, but I think it's the, it's knowing that you have that emotional support. You know, they, your friends can support you in other ways too. But, but I think when you have a sisterhood, it's that emotional support that binds you together. That you know, I'm going to tell someone something and there's going to be no judgment. You yeah. know, even if it is that, yeah, I want to get rid of this child, you know. Yeah. <laughs> because I, I want to take them to where I found them. I don't know where yeah. that is. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you know you're able to share that without any judgments. And that's why for me, who will let me vent um, and complain and moan and cry. I have yeah. a sisterhood of women who will just sit with me in silence when I don't have the words. I yeah. don't have the words to say I'm that sad or I'm that unhappy, but they'll just sit with you um, in that silence, and and you know yeah. that their presence is enough to, yes. to lift you. Um, yeah. So for me, the 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 sisterhood of woman is invaluable. I don't think I'd be where I am without it. Um, I, like I said, as a group of friends, we've been friends for you know. 84 years and it's been <laughs> and it's been amazing um and i always say i wish i wish that for other women you know i really yeah. do i wish for other women that may not speak you know all week long but literally you know if you message me at three o'clock in the morning and say love now i'm like yes, yes. yeah <laughs> yeah exactly exactly, exactly. And, and, and that that's remind me Absolutely, and that reminds me of one of our friends who will say, "We don't care for details. Don't if you if if, if you phone me at four o'clock and say it is on at corner number whatever, I'm there. I will find the details later." <laughs> is, 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 this, is this a point to tell in moderation, though? It will tell in moderation. So years ago, when there was a bit of a brawl, years ago, years ago, years ago, there was a bit of a brawl and you were involved in it. And I walked in and somebody said, your friend is in a fight. I was like, eh, I didn't want details. I just went and looked for the person. <laughs> I didn't care for details. The details are not... That was not... <laughs> Okay, we we were yeah. also also wait, 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 wait before you go any further. I think what is important though is, in as much as we are, um, we we don't care for details and we always have each other's backs. I think we also hold each other accountable, and I yes. think that's important because yes. I might not have you know I will back you up a hundred percent. I will right. Yeah. But yeah. After whatever it is that's done is done. Yes. I'll say to you. Uh, okay, love. So, talk me through your thought process or why you thought that was yeah. a good idea. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I think without yeah. accountability, we let a, we'll let a lot of things happen, and the accountability is all towards growth, right? Yes. Because your friendships yes. help you grow, and as and especially if you've had friendships over years or decades. You know, you yeah. grow as people, you, you change. And I think that accountability speaks to the fact that we're able to say with openness and honesty and kindness to say, you know what, I, I didn't like that thing that you did. Mm -hmm. um, and it hurt me or it hurt this person, you know, and to hold each other accountable for that and to, to not just That's let true. it slide. Um, Absolutely. So, yes, we laugh a lot and we've got each other's backs, but I think yeah no i i couldn't agree with you more love i mean we've we've bought we've we've we've, got, we've been around the block you know laughed a lot cried a lot 
danced a lot, uh, you know, you know, involved in the in the lives of our kids, and we've really done it all. But Mrs. Bafo yeah. says, "Shh, she exactly. says, thank you." <laughs> She says, Shh, enough already. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to the local, uh, 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 you know, part of things. So, so, you know, so I always argue, I mean, I mean, you'll hear Mark Costa, for example, is our member because we believe in his work. Uh, we have so much respect for his hustle. Uh, you know, somebody who started from nowhere and really just paid attention and kept his eye on the price. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, he will go come across criticism where people will say he's, he's too expensive, he's uh, good quality, but it's way expensive. And I mean, my argument is, uh, you know, so what if it is? You know, what if he wants to price himself at that level? Nobody questions Louis Vuitton or to place it at that level, that's fine. And there's a bigger market for all of us. If you can't afford that, yeah. surely you can move on to another local uh, uh, supplier or, or uh, business. Or hey, uh, what do you think of uh, that argument around 100%. pricing? A hundred percent. I mean, you know, in the same way that, um, like you say, if you look at a, a, an overseas label from wherever, I mean, the things that I think are pretty, but I can't afford them. And so I look, and I'm like, oh, that's pretty. And then I keep it moving. Yes. Um, I think the difference that, that applies here is, so someone like Matosa or, you know, whoever's coming in at a very high price point, I might not be able yeah. to afford it, right? But you can mm -hmm. count on the fact that I'm still going to, to retweet it, repost it, big it up. Um, like, especially now, uh, with Beyonce's recent movie, Black is King, yeah, yeah. where she worked with a, whole, you know, a number of Africans from across the country, mm. continent. And mm -hmm. not only that, but then has gone further to say, here is their stuff, it's available on my website where you can link to their different online stores so you're able, actually able to buy it. You know, yeah. Um, yeah. and even though I might not be able to afford the shoe, the bag, the dress, the, you know, whatever else, doesn't mean I don't support it. I love the brand. Yeah. I love what they're doing. And so, like I say, if if me retweeting it gets it to someone else who is able to buy it and, you know, in turn then support South African uh, uh, products, that's great. That's what I'm going to yeah. do. You know, I'm not going to be like, well, I can't afford it. So it, it's okay. It's okay. You can it's still okay. show a lot of love to South African products, even if if you don't have the budget to buy it or the budget yet to buy it or even if it's not necessarily your style you know i mean yeah. i think that might also be a thing that i might see other products or other things out there that may not necessarily be my style right mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. that i wouldn't necessarily buy or i don't necessarily like the design but that doesn't mean i can't support it by amplifying their message their yes yes yeah. Um, yeah and i because it will get to the person it's meant to get to it's going to get uh, to the person who wants to buy that stuff and that is so important love you know that is so important just it takes nothing away from an individual to be kind and share yeah. that with somebody else uh, that may find find it interesting and support it. Right. In fact, talk about that. I mean, at last year's, um, was it the summer awards that you were presenting that we went to, that lovely weekend we had in Sun City? Yes. <laughs> um, you had like three, <laughs> sorry, I forgot. <laughs> you had like three wardrobe changes, all yes. local, yes. by Philippe, who was styling you. You know, and and, and 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 look at that. I mean, you you looked stunning. It it was just so amazing. So so you can you know we can dress up that well and look in particular. Actually, I think it was more than three outfits. But but you were busy, right? It was like wardrobe change. <laughs> it was, it was three. Um, and, and again, it comes down to intentionality, right? So being intentional in your choices. 
Um, and so I worked with Philippe Maziboko, who is one of the best stylists in South Africa. Absolutely. Like, like and he's an OG. Like, Philippe and I yes. went together years ago when I was on television. But really, sure. he's, he's a master at what he does. Um, and in our discussion, I was very clear that I want to wear South African designers. It's I'm not interested in wearing anything from, from anywhere else. I want to wear South African designers um and again the choices were intentional so the one was marianne fassler okay. um, and again marianne is an og of south africa you cannot yeah. mention south african fashion without mentioning without her. like she's yeah she's legendary right yeah. um and then david Clale was the second like oh, that, she yeah. does. Oh, remember darling she belongs yeah. with her. Hey, darling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and David and I go way back because David made my wedding dress, actually. Yes. Yeah, so, yes. 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 So, yes. You know, he's yes. amazing. Um, and then I was the only the only thing that didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to was because you know the whole kind of lead up to the psalms it was very kind of who's at the forefront the vanguard of now. Uh, um, the timing it just didn't land up working out. But I yeah. think it comes. Back Back to what I'm saying about intention, because you can just say, "Oh, find me three dresses," and not care where they come from. Yes. Or you can say, find me three yes. South African made. Be specific. Dresses. Absolutely, be specific. Now that worked, love. That was really just so amazing. Uh, three of your local favorite local designers. You've mentioned David. <laughs> Love for all of them. For, every, for everybody. Okay? For everybody. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, I mean, and, and again, it speaks to the fact that, you know, over the years, I, I think I've met so many amazing South African designers who just, you know, Tula Cindy has a special place in my heart. You know, oh, and I go back also 14 years, 15, you know, sure. somewhere there. Like, I. I remember being introduced to him at the SABC and someone saying to me, here's a young designer, his name is Tula Cindy, he's just starting out, he really kind of um, would love to be able to dress you for something. And he dressed me for a J&B Met, you know, mm -hmm. many, many years ago, and Samas and so on and so on. And I've become so proud to see what he's done in turn with his Africa Rise stores. Yeah. Um, you know, Brad, the one in Saturn City, the one in town. I'm making you know clothing and that's it but he's he's thinking big I'm big. good he's thinking, yeah. I want to provide sorry I want to provide a space for other designers to be able to showcase what they do you know um, through his store yeah. so you know I've got a soft spot for Tula I do love him um Palesa Makubong, like oh yes collaboration like yeah love her it was love so her. wow her. yeah like, amazing yeah. you know and it's sold out like this you know like this yes. quick. Um, yeah there's just there's so many that i can't i literally cannot pick three i i mean yeah. you know i'm always in like i love my africa your time is now t-shirts that um papa maramakas is doing right yeah. um so that stuff i love this is this is even this is from kosi Kosi, like from i think a couple of years ago like i just oh. i love that stuff. oh great stuff <laughs> Great stuff. So, um, I'm hoping you've seen our new campaign uh, in a uh, television advert. Yes, I have. With the King of Wakanda, Dr. John Kani. Oh, <laughs> and, and what do you think of that message in the in the commercial? You know, does it resonate with you? Does it speak to South Africans? Did we? I think it absolutely um, does. I think it absolutely mm -hmm. does. You know. Um, the power is in our hands. The yeah. power is in our hands as to where we spend our money and how quickly we help the economy recover. Yeah. Really. Um, yes. we're at a we're at an incredibly difficult point in our decisions we make are gonna decide what happens next, where we go. Yes. Um, and honestly, I feel like it, it, the decisions we make will either it's not going to completely solve the problem, but can yeah. go some way towards making the impact of this pandemic not as bad as it could be. 
Um, yeah. And so I, I 100% agree with the message. We've got to put our money where our mm. mouths are. We've got to spend local. We've got to buy local. We've got to be intentional about spending our money within the borders of the country by <laughs> buying things that are made here. Absolutely. And it says that our everyday purchasing decision will shape our future. I mean, you know, it doesn't get any better than that, right? Because it's true. It's our everyday purchasing decision that will determine <clears throat> our future. And, 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 and we must tell our audience that we never had this discussion before. In fact, I avoided talking to you the last three days because I didn't, yes. wanna, I didn't want us to talk about this session. So I've never yes. asked you what your thoughts are around our new campaign ever. I've never asked you, you know, and I left it to today because I wanted uh, your honest answer and opinion to it. I didn't want to influence it in any way. And, I'm, I, and we're pleased to see that it's resonated with you and it speaks to you. Local actor, actor? Or am right. I putting so in the bus? <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. Your, some of your favorite local actors. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of like. Uh, hey. like I'm terrible at these off the cuff things where you have to like give lists of people and stuff. It's, it's like. Oh, oh. Also, I'm like, that guy, man, that guy who was in the. Um, oh. <laughs> Yes, we'll come back to this one. We'll come back to this one. We'll come back to this one. Okay. All right. Your favorite shot left in the country? Oh, Where are you looking forward to going in South Africa now that, that when we get to level zero? Like you know I love to travel, right? You know. Yes, travel. You That's your like thing. That's your thing, right? That's travel. My thing. That's my yeah. thing. Yeah. If, if SA Tourism is watching, that's my thing. <laughs> Hey guys, short left. If you watch, short left. <laughs> <laughs> um, my God, I love everywhere. Like I, I literally, uh, I love you know. And I suppose because I'm Gauteng based, I'm in Johannesburg. So a lot of the places when you say like that are just here, like the Waterberg uh, in Limpopo, love, 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 yeah. love. Mm -hmm. Drakensberg, oh. Mm -hmm. Dra Johannesburg is, I love, love like this is one of the most beautiful places on earth. One of the most yeah. beautiful places on earth is the Drakensberg. I love going there. Um, and then even just closer to home, Mulder's Drift, you know, yes. it's, it's literally 15 minutes, you know, out of Johannesburg. There's some amazing little lodges and guest houses and B&Bs and, you know, that sort of thing. Um, Bumalanga, like Dulstra. Oh. Yes. I love everywhere. I literally our next our next trip, trip, right? Yeah. Our next trip is Dalstrom. Yeah, I literally, you know, me, I can go away every single weekend. I would every yeah. single weekend. Yeah, there's a comment from Mrs. Buffo. She says, "Be international." No, Mrs. Buffo. Be international. We are local. <laughs> it's not that gig. We are local. <laughs> 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 but, 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 but you also, I mean, I mean, as, as you, uh, you came up with a great idea not so long ago where you just every Sunday or so, or every second Sunday, you're out there in the open because we've been in the house for literally for five months where we're not allowed to go anywhere. And, and, and just yesterday I was asked in my house, mommy, is Auntie Nell taking us to a hike this weekend? So... <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, you've started a thing, you see? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I think for me that was also based on you know, it's 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 a, it's challenging when your kids get older, you know, this you know, when they're yeah. little, when they're two and three and four and five and six, you know, it's easy to keep them busy, you know, you go to a bounce or you go to any place that has like a jungle gym or a you yeah. know all these things and and they're happy you know they're good yeah. but as they get older i think it becomes more challenging to find activities you can do together um as a family and how you spend that time so 
when we went to level three and it was like okay you know these the the hiking trails or some of the paths were open and we could utilize that i literally thought okay what can we do together you know i can't take them to a play place like my 14 year old will look at me like what, what? Like, mama what? <laughs> yeah uh, so it was a great way to get out of the house with the kids, get some sunshine, uh, get some fresh air. And I really, it's something that I actually want to keep doing because it's also allowed me again to discover some great little hidden gems around mm -hmm. Johannesburg. Um, you know, and people, uh, people who lockdown was good. It gave us the opportunity to try something new and to if discover if we liked it. And I, I liked yeah. it. So it is something that I want to keep doing. Ah, oh, fantastic. Can the mummies come too? If you keep up. <laughs> I'm so jealous when you guys go out and I'm like, ah. Anyway, so uh, three things. Um, Kota, Dombolo, or, or Briani, which is your favorite? <laughs> now, now you know I like to eat. You know that. Yeah. You know that. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I guess if I had to choose, like had to, had to, absolutely had to choose. Briani. Briani ne? is yeah. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we do have a friend in this platform who kills it. Yeah. That Briani. You see what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Surround yourself with people who make a difference in your life. <laughs> that's why all, listen, I can just tell everyone who's watching. That's why all my friends, guys, are <laughs> the baddest in the kitchen. When I say to you, these girls can throw down in the kitchen. All of them. That's why I've surrounded myself with these people in my life. Because they can <laughs> you know <laughs> Including you, Mrs. Lee. <laughs> yes. me. I think I do hold my own uh, as Very well. Nice. And I think I do hold nice. my friend. <laughs> okay. So what is your message, love, to South Africans about... So our emotive campaign, uh, which, which uh, you're going to see, live, you know, that's going to be on different platforms, but for now there was television we've asked south africans to pause yeah you know the pandemic forced us to pause but we asked south africans to pause and to rethink their loyalty to south african brands and rethink uh, their commitment and their loyalty to local brands and rethink about how as a people we're going to try and reignite our economy um because it affects all of us you know it's not somebody else's problem mm -hmm. um I mean, if i get one more call or a message from somebody who says i've been retrenched i've been looking for so long please if you hear anything for me uh, you know that type of thing um surely something has to give with our attitude our you know our behavior uh, and all of them, what would be, be your message? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna circle back to what I said earlier about being intentional in your choices. Um, mm -hmm. And I think to, sometimes to a large degree, we get uh, blinded by, when you think proudly South African, you, your thinking kind of maybe goes towards, oh, fashion, fashion and clothing, right? Um, and so if you're not into that sort of thing, if you're not into clothing or fashion or designer stuff, you think proudly South African care okay, doesn't really apply to me. But there's a South African choice for everything. So if you, great, you're not into clothes, fashion's not your thing, chap, 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 chap. But you love chili sauce, right? Chili sauce down the road from you, a South African little company small business working from home they do that right yeah. or if you're into honey 
okay, great yes. South African honey manufacturers. Mm -hmm. If you into bread, whatever it is, there's some South African somewhere making it. Like there yeah. really is. And all it mm -hmm. takes is for you to say, I'm going to be intentional to just spend two minutes on the internet, on my phone, to say, yeah. okay, local what what around me who makes whatever. And actually just putting in a little bit of time and effort to say, I'm going to find out a bit more and see where I can buy from from that is here, locally sourced, locally made, locally grown, etc. Even if it's alcohol or whatever it is, just make whatever. it and find it from here. I think that will make a huge difference. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and my bevla on uh, on the feed says uh, every day buying decisions can go a long way. Isn't that just true? It can. It can yeah. go such a long way to make a, a, a huge, huge difference that we all want to see. So your favorite quiet or song? Yeah. <laughs> uh, of all time? Yeah. Uh, well, even if it's like, you know, a, a song that is current or a blast, like a proper blast from the past, you know, the one that made you go onto that dance floor and thought Michael Jackson has nothing on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, probably between Tebe yes. and TKZ. One of the two, like either of those. Okay. I'll probably be on the dance floor. Like it's it's between those two. Like I really, you know, you hear any of this, any of this, and you literally are yeah. like, oh my gosh! Like, I know, like, I know, yeah. I know. Yeah, you're right. I agree. Tebe is that guy, right? I like, feel like we need to take Tebe and preserve him, put him in a little container, ne? And keep him. Like, oh my! <laughs> I, I mean, exactly. I mean, as I speak to you, all I hear is Diabu <gasps> Ako Fili. My God. My <laughs> me. That was our youth, babe. That was our youth. You know what I mean? Oh, Gungawa Gumu. Jesus. I mean, then it's all over. Like, you know, like at the, just when you think you're leaving the party, you are done, you are tired. And then the song comes on. Oh, it's all over. <laughs> ah, you are going back. You were going back. <laughs> so, so it reminds me of the last party we went to. Not even the last, the second last. I mean, the last one was, that one won't go. The second last where we drove out to Mafi Gang. And we were on oh the dance floor. <laughs> Until four o'clock in the morning. Six in the morning. Song after song after song. And then there was Tebe. And then there was Brown Dash. Pass and pass, I'm me. <laughs> we had such a good time. We had such a good time that night. Oh, God. I mean, and then, and I'd be like, but love, I'm, I'm tired. Ne? I, but we I took know. off the shoes. No, but we were on the dance floor, love. We were not going. We were not leaving that party with that. You know, and it was just local music. I mean, I mean, then, then the sister baby. That national anthem, <laughs> there's no party without that. Then it's the petty hour. <laughs> and then it's all over. <laughs> yeah, no. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but but even, isn't that just. Yeah. Sorry, I was going to say, even, even that now, again, is something that I'm really committed to South African music. Because again, yeah. that is buying and supporting local. You know, I think. Um, People often say, oh, back in the 90s, the music was... No, you know, if you really spend time... Look at it, like someone like Elaine, who the announcement yesterday that she's been signed to Columbia Records, you know? Yes. Um, and she's like a, a young girl who's studying law but loves music and yeah. pursued this thing and it's taking her to the world, you know? And again, making the effort to find great South African music that you love, you know what I mean? Yes. Like, for me personally... Like South African R and B is on a level that we haven't seen in yeah. years. It's on and I like R and B stands. So I love that stuff. I love discovering new artists. I love like yeah. <laughs> Talk about South African music. I mean, I'm still um, sometime in this lifetime, ne? 
You must please help me make it happen. We must still have a private show with Zonge. You know, where she will just stand there and belt out all her hits. I mean, I am such a fan of Zonge. I went to her. Was I not with you at that concert out in the, in the, in the east of Johannesburg? And when I say I tried to outsing her, her own song. <laughs> Why? 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 I, am, I mean, you know, at the end of that concert, I was so tired and bothered, but I had a good time. You know, I sang oh, yes. I went to give her a hug. I, Zonke is my girl. There's something about Zonke. And then there's Judith who belt out all those, um, uh, you know, gospel songs, and then I just you know so, so so we have an array of an um, of amazing stuff to give you know right. uh from across, from across the board across the board i mean from uh from it's a lifestyle thing we've just been talking about music we tapped into clothes there's food there's places to go there's even cars there's yeah. There's loads and loads of things. I mean, that reminds me to talk about our online platform, uh, RSA Made. And it's we're getting two years old today. So it's a pity that, that we can't, I know, it's a pity that we can't pop a bottle and uh, celebrate under these circumstances but two years because the e-commerce platform is one you can't ignore i mean we shop for home literally and it has everything and anything you can think about that is strictly locally made though yeah. which is a you know which is such a you know it's a pride for us because um you know there was a gap there was a gap there's many e-commerce uh, platforms that sell everything uh international but this one rsa made is 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 local so pop in there and have a look when you have a moment right i think you know the the easier we make it for people to find south african made goods the better you yes know, you, you don't have an excuse to say i don't know where to look there, yes. there, there. exactly and which is a question that we get asked all the time because people will say i do want to support local but how do i know so if i go to a retail store I don't have time to reading and finding, and that's why so they can use the logo because that's the quickest way. I mean, our logo is very, very visible. That's the yes. quickest way to identify a product whether it's made locally or not. And in the absence of not, you know, of not, not seeing the logo, then it must say made in South Africa because uh, mm -hmm. that product also just is deserving to be uh, to be uh, supported. Yeah. yeah to be supported um yeah i see i'm trying to see if we've got any uh you know uh, questions or comments that you may have to say something about uh oh, there's a lot of comments. i mean i mean there's a you know there was, there, I, I saw quite a lot of comments agreeing with what you say that it's important to uh, you know that it's important we, we've got to do this we've got to do this and support local of course you can need to focus. <laughs> can you focus on the red hand? <laughs> See, now you're interrupting the flow of the conversation. <laughs> Such a lovely chat. Thank you so much, loveness. Um, I was I, I was tempted to 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 use your 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 other real name, and and people would have gone, huh? Oh, <clears throat> you know the one, <laughs> the one that starts with an S. <laughs> yes. I know. That's, okay, that's, that's you and me, love. That's you. you see, it's difficult with these conversations when you know somebody. When when somebody's your sister, then you have to edit. You know, you have yes. to. Yeah. You have to. I mean, I've been told so many times by Estelle. Yeah, no, you see, you see, this is me. <laughs> 
uh, to yeah. tattoo. Uh, and I'm hopefully I'll see you. Hey? I'm what was that? I can't believe the hour is up already. I mean, can you believe it? Yeah, you know. So, 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 so. So one of these days, please expect a beautiful, proudly South African delivery at your house. Yay. Just a, yes, a token of our appreciation for spending this time with us today. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You are so loved by South Africans. I mean, uh, the comments that I saw as we were posting will be chatting to you today. You know, they were like, "Oh, I love her. She's my girl. I will listen yeah, and so all that." So we sweet. love you just as. Yeah, we love you just as much. I love you more, you know. I can't wait to catch up. I know where you Thank live, you. remember? You do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm moving. Just... Yes, no, I'm moving. Moved. I help you move. <laughs> so you're going nowhere. I help you move every time. <laughs> Oh, I just want to say, I just want to say, like, thank you so much for asking me to be on. You know, I think, as you say, it's these conversations we need to have. And I think the more we have them, the more they're out there, the more people know about things. Hopefully, every, hopefully everyone who's watching maybe heard about something new or learned something new. Um, and this is how we do it. We do it together. We're all in this together, guys. Absolutely. We in this, we stand in solidarity. We in this together. And we have to find light-hearted things to talk about. It's been so much love. You know, we've yeah. all I literally think that everybody I know has lost their mind one way or another. Pinky's here. Hey Pinky. She says, Hey, you too. Yeah. <laughs> and um and uh, you know, we've all lost our mind one way or another. Honestly, I just yeah. think that uh, you know, um, and 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 we need light-hearted conversations such as that. You know what was funny? I was thinking the other day that you know, if you think about it, a lot yeah. of us, I did it, you did it too, love. So did everybody on this platform last year or even before, long before lockdown. We would all say because I think we were overwhelmed by life can be very fast-paced and we're all mm -hmm. complaining i'm tired I, 